Hello everybody and welcome to another episode, look at the mic, it's yours, you're actually there, to Jurassic World Alive! Oh my god, do we have a fun packed video today! Um, so, depending on what happens, that will change what the thumbnail is called, or what, you well, uh, what picture's in the thumbnail. So, on the list for today's video is to hopefully, fingers crossed, unlock this bad boy. All I need is 20, I think? I have a look at what we got. Yes, I thought I thought it was 20, because like 15, yeah, we could do that. We could do 50, 20. What are the chances we're gonna get 15? <laughs> but not only that, we've got one thing we're definitely guaranteed to do is finally this. Now, I don't know what I um, what I darted, how much I got. I think it was, it was over 150, I think it was something like that. Um, so we have 390 of this, which leaves us with 140 extra. I think it's 100 to level up one. So we're going to get it to the second, like 20, level 22, is it? It starts at 21, I think. But anyway, the Antarcto Covenator, whatever it's called, the super evil fluffy is here. Here we go. Looks gorgeous. Oh, yes, I know you. Oh, wow. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I think the only reason this thing exists is because I really like Fluffy. I really liked, um, I liked when it got its, you know, its extra hybrid. Um, the, uh, the, the red one, I can't remember, what would you call that, a rare? Is it? No, not called rares. Whatever they're called, legendaries. But it, the thing is, it wasn't very good, even with its, you know, amazing, like, distract, distract, counter, and everything. Um, even against Indomino, Indominus Rex, no, sorry, Indoraptor Gen 2, which was the meta at the time. It was, it was basically, on paper, meant to counter Indoraptor Gen 2. However, Indoraptor Gen 2 was so broken that not even uh, that could take it on. But, I don't know. I think that this is Ludia's way of being like, hey beavers, here you go, here's something good. Try this. So, fingers crossed it's actually good. <laughs> Only with revenge it's got a priority. Okay. That to me seems a bit pointless. Because I mean, chances are it's not going to be going first. And you're probably going to be hit twice. Like if it was something where it got a, like an attack increase and a speed increase, then it would make sense. A bit like Mutual Fury. But just to, just to get attack up? Now the thing is, this could work if it has a counter, which it probably does. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, the defense shattering impact, okay. Distracting rampage is on a delay of one. Swap in distraction, 100%. I guess that's good, because that means, and I'm sure it's got a counter. It does have a counter. Well, by that, I mean, you know, it doesn't have like a passive attack. Nullifying counter. Are you kidding me? Hold on, let me just check. Did th this guy had it, right? This guy had a, had a counter. Yeah, precise shattering counter. Why did it lose that? What did we gain from this? This thing's useless. <laughs> Unless it's like got boosts on it. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's going to be people that are, you know, have everything level 30 and have got like a million boosts saved up ready for it. Um, but I don't, I don't. <laughs> Does anyone else see how this can, how you can like justify spending millions of coins on it and uh, putting boosts into it for a tactic? Yay, we unlocked it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh man, I was hoping it would have the counter. Because then that would make sense. Priority, increase your attack, get hit, counter. Makes sense. Not quite. A bit like Majungasaurus. I think he's a swap in ferocity and then, you know, but... I mean, that would be cool to see a level 30 Majungasaurus with boosts on it. Just to see that swap in ferocity and the counter. That would be really, that would be really good. <laughs> But we're not going to see that because it's going to take a load, a load of coin. Next things next, or next, first things first, should we say, uh, now that that's out of the way, um, there has been a leak, uh, a glitch that is happening, whatever is happening recently with Ludia's games, um, they've dropped the ball on many, like Dresser World, the game uh, had just had a Bonogamous tournament and they emailed me to say that people who did unlock Bonogamous got sent the wrong prize. So don't worry, you'll get the right prize. Um, also, Triceratops Gen 2 that I would have unlocked if my game hadn't have glitched. They were like, oh, okay, sorry about that. Here's gold. I was like, what do you mean gold, the gold reward? I want Triceratops Gen 2. I would have won it if I hadn't have lost the cups. And they sent me this like calculation of here's your cups factoring in, you know, the, 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 if you didn't lose, then you would have got gold. I'm like, well, no, I would have kept on playing. <laughs> 
So they were like, okay, we'll give you a Triceratops. And it still hasn't come. Still don't have it. And in this game, the newest glitch is that um, the, the, the little d killer dodo is, a, is around again. Showing if you dart it, you get overwrapped it. Uh, so overwrapped is coming. And apparently there's another Dilophosaurus hybrid that has been leaked. Uh, <laughs> And not only that, this was supposed to be on a Sunday with some other things and it didn't appear. So the next week we had to dart it again, <laughs> which I'm not too like fussed about. We, you know, that didn't really, we were going to get it again. So I'm not too fussed about that. But God, how many things do you want to go wrong with your game, Lydia? <laughs> um, okay, so, so what I want to do is unlock, fingers crossed, Hadrosaur Lux. And also, if anyone's in Australia that I can get on Discord, um, do the... Uh, Mortem Rex because I am I think only 15 or oh, it's probably another 20 25 It is a tall ask 20 is a tall ask these days I feel the days of me getting 50 or 75 are long gone uh, also, my team switched up a little bit more. Um, I <laughs> will admit, I, I I may have spent some money on the game because I was sick of losing over and over again. Brings me to my third and fourth, God knows whatever point. Game Press, you you may you may have heard of them if you're any part of this game. Uh, put up a statement, which I'll probably put up. Um, basically, just airing their grievances with the game, stating that the game's not fun anymore. All it is is a grind. There's no fun going out to dart things anymore because of uh, areas, zones. So, you know, with lockdown and not being able to travel places, you're stuck in the same thing. Yes, GigaSense are great, but over, like when it first started, GigaSense were great because it gave you a chance to dart dinosaurs over and over and over again for dinosaurs that you could get frequently and needed the DNA for. But uh, it also exacerbated the issue because you couldn't travel. You're just facing the same dinosaurs over and over again and it just defeated the point of darting. When we realized in the game that there were zones and you were sort of split up into them and it wasn't just random, um, it was like, well, this sucks because I can't go anywhere or I can't, you know. And the battle systems, like, what am I on now? I'm on 5,229. Like, like the lowest I've been in a long time. And yes, the you know, leaderboard has reset. My highest score was 5529, which is when I first started. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay around here for ages. It doesn't matter what I do. And it, you know, a lot of the times all I wanna do is just get the incubators. And I, I wish there was just a way to get the incubators without doing battles. Uh, you know, maybe if I wanted to do, you know, I'm in a competitive mood. I'm like, okay, let's, let's actually do some PVP. Um, fair enough, but there's, you know, you may be lucky to time out and be like, fight against AI? <laughs> like, that might be a thing, but that's very rare that you get that. Uh, most of the time you'll just be fighting against PvP and you're just like, oh, for God's sake, I'm gonna lose. Just, just give me the incubator. I just want to go to sleep. Just want to set up my eight hours. Just let me go to sleep. <laughs> Which is what I find a lot of the time. And also one thing I wanted to address as well, the daily missions, right. I think personally, what they should do with collect the required amount of darts, which is a weird one, okay. Um, usually it's like dart so many dinosaurs or do so many direct hits. What I want Ludia to do, uh, fire so many darts, right? Fire them, double it. <laughs> double the requirements of darts being fired because I don't know about you guys, but it seems like a common thing in alliances for the darting requirement, you know, to unlock the, um, the alliance things is usually the last one to be unlocked. Um, but if there was more, you know, need for people to dart, you know, to, to get their, their reward. Now, hear me out. Not only do I think that the requirements should be doubled, but I think the reward should be doubled. So instead of 100 T-Rex DNA, how about 200? That's a lot. That's a lot of DNA to get every day. You know, so you could double the T-Rex DNA and probably triple the requirements. Because let's be honest, what's collecting 60 darts? It's like 10 supply drops. It's like two seconds. So make it, I don't know, 500 darts. I mean, worst case scenario, you go into the market and buy the darts, right? Like when what's that cost you? 500 coin or something like that? And let's say, uh, fire the required amount of darts, 100. What, what's that? That's like five creatures that you, you've, you you know, you got close to. That's like, what, five minutes on a giga cent uh, switching with a normal cent? Make it 500. And I think not only will it help, you know, people will get better rewards, but it, they'll also, you know, help towards the Alliance. 
Because I feel like a lot of the time people just log in, get the rewards, do a few battles, get the incubators and bugger off. Because let's be honest, doing that sounds simple, it sounds easy, it sounds quick, but it's not. Because the battles take friggin' ages. Because you'll lose, 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 win, lose, lose, lose. And, you know, all you want to do is just get the Ingibus, like, for God's sake. <laughs> so I do 100% understand with Game Press where they are coming from. And moving on to this week's uh, events. We have from Monday to Tuesday, which, you know, this is going up, I think, Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? I think so. Uh, Tricide of Gen 2 and Enosaurus, which... Let's be honest, if you're a high level, if you're playing this for a long time, you're not really fussed about those. However, dry, uh, Triceratops Gen 2, you might be because of Draco Ceratops. Uh, Wednesday to Friday are the rares. Nozuda Ceratops, Draco Rex, and Triceratops. Uh, Triceratops, I really don't think there's any need to get it. Stegoceratops isn't that great, and Monostegatops is also not that great. Uh, Draco Rex, possibly you with Utaranex. Um, that's pretty good. I use that, but I wouldn't say it's the best creature. Um, so I'd say Nozudo Ceratops or Dracorex. Nozudo because I find Nozudo is the rarest to get, so probably a Nozudo. And then Saturday to Sunday, we have Cynoceratops, Stingy Moloch, and Griper searches again. Oh my god, give us some good ones, Lydia. Jesus Christ! <laughs> We've had Griper search so many times. Cynoceratops has been in the game since the beginning, and Stingy Moloch, like, we had that for the longest time as a reward. I mean, Stingy Moloch, I guess, makes sense because of Tura Moloch, right? But Sino, uh, I guess if people are just starting you, and this is the thing, you know, I'm 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 saying this from a uh, player who's played since the beginning. Uh, Cynoceratops is, you know, we've had so many chances to dart Cynoceratops and Griper Sutures. You know, I don't have um, the hybrid, the unique, um, up to max level. I've only got level 28. I can't really complain about it, but I just want. Some more rare ones. Diplodocus, for God's sake, give me more Diplodocus. Um, or for the rares, can I just have more of this? Just give me more coo cooler friggin' Suchus Gen 2. I I'm also starting to try to work towards Mammalania. Just because of 50% armor, the massive health, the pretty decent attack, and the fact that it's slow, right? But you got Resilient Rampage. Uh, yes, it's delayed a little bit, but you can instantly go for a dig in taunt and nullify some damage that's coming towards you. Next time, go for a resilient rampage and, or, you know, there's, there's options. There's, there's a little bit of strat there. You could go for taunting bellow, not the, I don't think you would really. Persistent ferocious strike and then resilient rampage do a crud ton of damage. Um, as well as it being immune to stun, speed decrease, so it can't ever be slowed. Um, the swap prevention as well can be here, here or there. It's, swap prevention is mainly for like skill tournaments. I would, I would imagine that's usually where it's for. Model Ryan's pretty damn tough. If we can do a pop, maybe we'll get 90. Maybe we'll get 90 or 10. Of course it's 10. It's always 10. It's never not 10, is it? So while I'm donating uh, DNA for coin, this is always what I find better. Uh, um, let's uh, do or set up a Hadrosaur Lux raid, shall we? Oh, speak of the bloody devil, come to papa. <laughs> oh no, I'm doing this on an iPad. Oh no. Now, the thing was with uh, Actovenator, the, you know, the newest unique that uh, everyone's probably unlocked. Um, it was this animation. And sorry, oh God, this is horrendous. It's a huge iPad. It's hard to dart with. You think you'd have more control, but you don't. Um, yeah, uh, it, it was like this animation and this animation super easy to dart. So I was quite glad for that. I was like, yes, finally unique. I don't know about the exiting out and you know, if you don't get a good dart, I think they fixed that. I could be wrong. Um, but that means that we can at least do one more pop for Gemini Titan. One pop, a survey, sir, 70. Ooh, 20, very good. I'll take that. Could have been, could have been a lot worse. Could have been half as much. But 20, I'll take. Almost there to level 20. <laughs> oh, hey, let's go. Let's go. Oh, here we go, here we go. I'm through the day. I'm doing this before I've had lunch. <laughs> Right, day raid, let's go. Oh, I'm excited. We can do this. This is, I mean, when I play as Morton, I have the easiest job in the world because I just sit there and go, first attack, first attack, first attack. <laughs> um, okay, so while we're doing this, I want to mention something uh, that has came up recently. Bit of drama. Oh, I love drama. Um, so normally, when it goes, to, when it comes to uh, like doing raids and stuff like that, I used to go to a an alliance called Killer Raptors, um, and I would they would also share their sanctuary with me, which is really nice of them. 
Um, and I, you know, I met loads of people in there. Cat, uh, Leonidas are just a few that stick out to me, uh, who were always there to help um, whenever I needed anything. But this all changed recently, uh, unfortunately. Um, I was banned from the Discord server. Really? You know, do you want to know why? Why I was banned? It was absolutely stupid. <laughs> so, basically, um, I, I sort of knew, I didn't really know too much, but I, the leader of Killer Raptors, uh, who I think goes by KP, um, he's messaged me a couple of times, um, and we've all been fine. But when I was doing a raid about a week ago, I, uh, I made a joke because <laughs> I was being edgy. I made a joke. I said, uh, like, this guy called Eddie came on. And now Eddie is one of the top uh, players in their alliance. And it said leader in his, in his, um, in his like, tags and stuff, <laughs> in his roles. So I, so I said to him, after this, Eddie, do you want to join my alliance? <laughs> just as a joke, just as a fling away joke. I said that. And um, while we, we just started doing the battle, like, he didn't even respond to it. Like, I was just joking. Um, and we started doing this, like, a raid like this. And then all of a sudden, I got a message from a bot. I was like, oh, okay. It was like, you have been banned from Killer Raptors. I was like, what? Because I used to use Killer Raptors for strats. I used to use them for uh, communication to do raids and stuff. Like, in my alliance, we got, you know, we got some really good players. We got Zeke Dad, John C. Um... Oh, I forgot his name now. <laughs> Death Rocker was another one. Um... Oh, so we need to go for the big one now. Well, go for the big hit. Oh, I'll do it. So we, we have a, like our own uh, Discord and stuff, but it just seemed like their, like their channel had all the strats and stuff, which we've also got now. But now that I was basically banned for uh, like what was just a joke, we're using our Discord now. This is great. So I'm being more active in it, which is also great. Um, so I was, I was genuinely curious, like really was I banned because of that? So I found out that I was banned by uh, KP, uh, the leader of... Um... <laughs> oh, you were kidding me. <laughs> Whoa, what? Um, that was so close. 400, I mean... I guess we could just go for like a stall out, I guess. I mean, what's his next hit gonna be? We should have ended it there. I, obviously, so many, like, we didn't get any crits or, or anything there. So he's just gonna go for a shield. So, we, yeah, we just stall for a second because he's not gonna do anything. <laughs> we just stall. So it, it takes one more turn, but nothing's gonna happen. Um, and I was, I, I started saying in, uh, I started talking. Like, as soon as this happened, I talked to my own Discord in, like, the Jurassic World Alive channel. And I was like, I've just been. Like, and, and to Roar as well, who's another great uh, member of our alliance. I was like, because he was helping out as well. I said, I've just been banned <laughs> from uh, from our Discord, from their Discord, sorry. And he was like, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Um, and so then people started saying uh, stuff about Killer Raptors, like the alliance, and it being a little bit toxic. And I was like, well, I haven't experienced any toxicity. Um, but then they were saying that it was the actual leader who's toxic. Uh, and loads of other alliances started saying that too. I was like, really, is he? And then he came into my Discord and started saying, "Would well, you were banned for a reason. You were trying to recruit. I was like, it was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. Uh, but apparently he takes his like alliance incredibly seriously. Um, to the point where he even um, like in the announcements of or like of the of the disc of their Discord server pinned uh, showing that the bot banned me for recruiting. It was like, Beaver, Game Beaver banned, as if like, yeah, we banned him. And I was like, I, I, so I messaged him saying like, look, I don't, I'm not gonna block you from our server, but you probably want to take that down, because you're only like inciting like, like toxicity. Like, and he was like, okay, <laughs> what, what goes through your head? Like, yeah. We anyway, anyway, so I want to say, last thing I'll ever say about Killer Raptors, toxic leader apparently. Um, but I also want to say thank you to everybody who doesn't represent that, um, who has helped me in the past. But it's such a shame that it, it ended like that because there was a couple of times where he came out to me and said, like um, KP said, like about not helping with the sanctuaries, um, and that like loads of people were annoyed. Loads, of, why are you not helping the sanctuaries, man? Like, 
Oh, I don't know, man. It's a game. It's a game. But anyway, I can understand. I, I from from a certain perspective, why he was annoyed. Um, he, like he, if he thought that it was legit, cause it wasn't. I was just joking. God's sake. Um. So yes. So thank you to everybody. Like I said, Leonidas, Cat, um, and some other people that joined. Uh, and, and I've got a load of Killer Raptor members. Um, but. I assume I now have got to just remove them because it's just like clogged up my friends list when it comes to uh, thinking if you want to reach out, fair enough. Um, but good news is, you know, should I just go for regular hit if we're not going to kill him? Like, should I just do that? There's no one, no, hello? Ang CW and uh, he's regular, oh yeah, they're really thinking like, oh, we didn't kill him last time. <laughs> Honestly, I think I just got unlucky. I got unlucky that I didn't get any crits. We should be able to kill him. I mean, if it happens again, because this is a four turn one, I'll just go for the regular hit. Um, I mean, here we go. Here we go. He's only going to go for a shield. And he's already... Or, I don't know. I don't know. Either way. Um, but because of this, we've now joined up with two other alliances. We've got the... Um, I think it's the Raptor Brotherhood. And the... Is it Black Diamond? Black Diamond Alliance. I just want to make sure it is Raptor Brotherhood. Because it's Killer Raptors, Raptor Brotherhood. I was like, oh, it's confusing. Um, so, yeah, we've joined up with those. Way more chill. Way more relaxed. And, like, no stress. And that's the way this game should be. Like, a few of uh, members have left my alliance and went to Raptor Brotherhood. And we still, like, we still, like, do raids and stuff together. And I'm not blocking them. <laughs> For poaching alliance members. Oh, God, that was close. Okay, so is it a regular heal? Heal all round. Very good. And um, I'll just go for the biggest hit. I'll just kill him. Yeah, there we go. Good. Um, so yeah, just wanted to explain that whole drama. Um, why people, why, why I was banned and my side of the story. I don't know whether, you know, people have said, actually, he was banned because he was recruiting and he was trying to be toxic. And you can see the log. And he was literally just like, hey, after this, you want to join my lines? <laughs> that was it. It wasn't being serious. Like, the, he came, Eddie came on, and uh, I saw that he was leader, and everyone's like, oh, Eddie's here, blah, 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 blah. Um, You see, that's more like, that's what should have happened. I don't know whether, did I miss it and somebody didn't go for a thing? Yeah, anyway. Um, and apparently, he was like, oh, he's recruiting, he's trying to get a leader. Ban him. <laughs> God. Oh, dear. It's just, oh, I, 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 I love Discord. But there's just some, some dramas, man. Some dramas, like, come on. It's the internet. It's a game. Oh, but hopefully, fingers crossed, this will be the one. And I, I know Pro C, I don't know if he's in Killer Raptors. Uh, I think he might be Raptor Brotherhood. Pro C, I think he was wanting to do this Hadrosaur Lux raid. Um, and because he was going to unlock it. He was, I think he, he was 15 away. I was 20. So I was like, I actually don't know whether or not I'm legit going to be able to unlock it. He's probably, if I get 15, oh my God. It's so going to happen. It's so going to happen. Uh, but this is a longer one. I mean, it's saying I've been recording for 47 minutes. I haven't because we've been setting up this raid. But uh, hopefully we should get a back-to-back -back Apex raid with Mortem as well. Because um, we've got a few people in Asia time zones. So they should, right about now, have Mortem Rex. So once we do this, uh, with help from the Raptor Brotherhood Alliance as well. Uh, we don't have any Sanctuary shared with Raptor Brotherhood. Black Diamond though. Got two level 20. I've been very good. I've been talking a lot. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for everyone who has um, helped out, uh, who has contacted me uh, regarding uh, this whole situation. Because when Killer Raptors just blocked me for no, like, banned me for that reason, I was like, crap, I've just, like, lost, like, contacts. I've lost raid strats. Um, but we've got all that now in our alliance in the gaming Be beaver corner, which is our Discord, which you can find the link in the description below. Um, but I just want to specifically say thank you to Raid Shallowdon, um, Borut as well. Um, I think they were the main ones that uh, contacted me. I think there was another one. Just want to make sure I'm getting this all right. <laughs> I love this. With more, I don't even need to pay attention. Like that done. <laughs> uh, there was another one recently. And I can't seem to find it. Damn. Well, anyway, there was more than one, I can tell you that, who definitely helped out with me. Um, so, uh, we also helped out somebody as well. I think Tsunami from our Discord. <laughs> we helped out do a, um, a raid 
Um, because they, they've never done an Apex raid, but we carried them. I think I think it may have been this one. They would just try Stornix, I think. Um, and oh, maybe it wasn't. It was one where you could use a low level try Stornix. Um, so yeah, also one thing I want to mention, how do people have these crazy emotes? Um, what is it? It's the, um, the Brachiosaurus. And I know the T-Rex, I remember seeing it. Are they in the, like the paid for incubators? Or you have to buy those ones? Because I've seen the T-Rex that licks its teeth. But then there's like a Brachiosaur that, I think I've seen two Brachiosaurs, maybe it's just one. Um, but I must be, I'm just missing out. I'm not seeing them, they must be paid for either. If they're books, fair enough, I'm happy with the books. But if you have to pay for emotes, it's like, come on, Lydia, that's a bit crazy. <laughs> okay, so we're getting the taunt and shield from our dentist, which is great. And this should be, yeah, I don't know what happened the first turn, but just shows, if you go, you can go off script. You just have to survive or you can swim by yourself without the armbands. How dare he. That was my time! <laughs> I like the snowball. Small. Is it a snowball? It is a snowball. I always thought it was just a weird little... Yeah, I have that one too. You did the thing. <laughs> but there's loads of emotes. I quite like them actually. Um, very rare now. It used to be every battle you'd get the people who would do the... Uh, like the yawn. Oh, it was frustrating. It was so frustrating. But now, I think either most people have emotes turned off or... Wait, was that a thing? I didn't see that one. What was that? Was that a new one? I think that might have been a new one. Or else I haven't heard that sound effect of... <laughs> uh, but now I, I see very rarely um, some toxic people. Or very rarely I see toxic people on here. Last round, here we go. And like, if they, if they do that one, like the laugh and point, you can just laugh and point back. With the yawn though, it's so passive aggressive. But now because you have the laugh and point, when somebody does the passive aggressive one, you can just point and laugh at them and be like, really, you still doing that? Ah. <laughs> so I think when they, they added the point and laugh, it was good, it was good. I thought it was just gonna be even more toxic. I was like, ooh, is, it, ooh, is that a good idea? I don't know. But yes, it was good. Good job, Lydia, you did good. You've done a lot of weird friggin' things before. I, mean, I should have also put up, I just found the image that shows all of the hybrids. Um, like the Actovenator that's coming, yes. The Gorgotribax, yes. But then you've got the Dacotnops, the Aquilodocurious, the Pucandictilio, and the Overlophosaurus, which is like an Erlocosaurus uh, Overraptor, I'm assuming. So I don't know how they've managed to leak all of those, but good job, Lydia. <laughs> Oh, okay, they're dead. Oh, I had a heart attack. I was like, wait, there's a zero. <laughs> oh, it's not me. Oh, thank God. Oh, and ooh, they're doing a different raid. They're doing a Steedarix raid. Oh, that's the the unique. The thing is, there's so much going on in the game now. There's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's like, oh, I think. Oh, we can just go all out here. Let's go for it. Let's target boss. Uh, where's that one? Let's target boss. Let's go. Big hits. We got one, two, three. Can we kill it? Come 14,000 health. Let's go, let's go. You got, I mean, normally, if you've got a really strong uh, Mortem, you can just do this. Like, boom, bam, 4,000. In comes mine, which should do 6,000. And then our Dentist Maxima should do 3,600. That's without a crit. And I don't think we'd be able to kill it. So one of us needs to crit. Oh, there's the crit. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There we go. Oh, no, it wasn't you. It was that one. <laughs> it was a 17,000. How much? How much damage? Well done, Raptor Brother and two Beer and Pal. There you go. That's. It's like Avengers. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. Now, now, we. Okay, well, well thank you, Indoraptor. <laughs> Come on. Come on. What are we going to get? Come on, something good. 20. 20 is all I need. 20 is all I need. Come on. We did it! We've unlocked Hadrosaur, looks! Yeah, hold on, I need to tell them, guys. I need to tell them. Oh, there we go! Now, I think I'm, with the other Apex raids, I have missed some. Uh, with the Sinoceratops and something else I, I have definitely missed. I don't think that'll happen again. Uh, yeah, I should be on like 130, 140 for Sinoceratops, but I'm not. But here we go! Here we go! Oh, GG, guys! Thank you, everyone helped out. Here we go, Hadrosaur, looks! Unlock! Here we go! Beautiful. Oh, yeah. So 5,100. So this is all health. This is all resilience. 
What attacks does it have though? I can't believe, yes, a para, a friggin' para. Oh, I'm so excited, so Brazilian strike. Not bad, I suppose. Uh, Rampage, which is straight off the bat, 3,000 damage. It's pretty good. It's not as good as Molten Rex, obviously. The Resilient Rampage is under delay. Medium Resilient Counter-Attack. Now, because we've already got 5,000 health, does that mean that if we fully maxed up Hadrosaur Lux, because you can do that, that's 20 straight away, would it have over 10,000 health? And this is the thing, right? Where, where is the, the medium point for you to have a, enough health where you can probably just put in everything else to attack off speed? Because I think 5,000 health is around about the sweet spot. It means that majority of time, even if you go second, you're going to get a hit off. And the tactic, if something isn't great at attacking, is that it'll slow down the opponent to get another hit off. And in this case, Hadros could do it. Hadros could go for a ramp, uh, resilient strike and then a resilient rampage. Uh, but if it is fast, it could go for rampage, then resilient. And it has greater heal as well. Um... Now, Grady Heal has to do with its attack. So the more attack it does, the more it heals itself, right? Yes. Oh, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to think, like, what could I do? I could put 19 straight into it if I wanted to. I could put, how many attack? Six, six attack into it. And I could put five. Oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait to do that. Okay, right guys. Join me in a second where we are hopefully gonna level up Morton Rex to level 28. What would that bring its attack to? Let's have a look. Oh, there's so many. Um, so it's tax on 3,150. If I level it up, it's 3,307. Damn, another 157 attack. And what about its health? Its health, whoa, goes up at 300. That increases the survivability a lot. Like when I face, when I use Morton Rex, a lot of the times I'll either just leave something alive or, well, basically I'll leave something just alive. So that means at level 30, I'm gonna, like, more Rex is gonna kill everything. I've seen a lot more Rex with 127 speed, 120s, but then they don't have the attack, uh, or they don't have the health. So, I don't know, I think maybe we get to level 30, maybe we'll take some health off and then put some more attack on? I don't know. Well, guys, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up there. Wow, there's a lot to digest here. A lot of glitches, uh, a lot of drama in a way. Not really, I don't really care about it too much. And uh, a lot of creatures unlocked. We've got a new unique and we got a new apex dinosaur. Um, I'm just curious, like what's the best thing to do with it? Like, I mean, it's already got tons of health. So maybe speed and attack? I mean, it makes more sense to give it health, right? It's a health tank. It could probably take two massive hits and still keep on going. But you give it loads of attack, you balance attack and health, at least then when it emergency heals, it'll recover more health, right? I don't know. I don't know. We'll think about it. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye.